Hi everyone, today we are going to learn about calendar and it is one of the most important core services of G Suite. Calendar is something that users would want to set up as soon as possible so that they don't miss out something very important and are in sync with everything happening in the organization, be it scheduling events and resources or joining hangout sessions for meetings and much more. As a G Suite administrator, you can specify how users can set sharing options. You have control over several things like you can specify how users share their primary calendar with internal and external users. You can decide if you want to keep event details private or not and also you can, um, you can uh, decide whether you want to show private addresses or not and much more. Uh, as a G Suite administrator, you can create resources such as meeting room, projector or any other resource that users in the organization can use on the scheduled time. You can automatically add video calls to events. You can migrate or sync existing calendars. So let's see how as an admin you can set sharing options for users. You can, contr you can control internal sharing settings as well as uh, external sharing settings for your users. When I say internal sharing settings, I mean sharing within the domain and by external I mean sharing outside of the domain. So to get started we'll click on the apps icon. G Suite which says G Suite core services. Calendar. External sharing options for primary calendars. Choose the O you want. You want to uh, set the uh, sharing option for. For me, Olive Tech only. So uh, apply that Olive Tech I O perfect. I'll click on this pencil icon to see all the options. You get four option only free and busy information. Share all information, but outsiders cannot change calendar. Share all information, and outsiders can change calendars. Share all information and allow managing of calendars. So if uh, it is pretty much this is pretty much clear with uh, everything that is said here. But again, only free and busy information will be shown to outsiders. If you select this option, none of the um, event details will be shown. It will be hidden. So uh, the next option is share all information, but outsiders cannot change calendars. So if you select this option. Uh, users outside of the domain will be able to see all the information but again they will not be able to make any changes to your calendar so they won't be able to add anything or remove anything the next option that you get is share all information and outsiders can change calendars here uh, it, this is a one step ahead uh, they will be able to see information and along with that the outsiders can also change calendars they can make changes to your calendars uh, the next option that you get is again share all information and allow managing of ca uh, calendars so you c you are fully sharing your calendar with people outside of your organization and also granting outsiders the permission to manage your calendars so with these two options where you're giving outsiders the permission to change and manage your calendars they will also be able to see the private addresses with these two options where you do not allow your outsiders to actually change the calendar or uh, manage the calendar where you only give them permission to see the information or only see if you're busy or free they will not be able to see the private um, addresses so for outside world I just want them to know whether I'm free or busy on that particular day and I'll click on this and I'll click cancel because I'm not making any changes but if I would like to make any changes then I will have to click on save so that changes are applied but I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to go with the same settings now ha let's have a look at internal sharing options for primary calendars and, and again I'm going to click on pencil icon. We get three options, no sharing, only free and busy information and share all information. So uh, this is basically for internal sharing. So users inside my domain 
will be able to see my calendar or not so right now share all information is selected so in uh, users inside my domain will be able to see all information if i want to make changes to this i can do that if i select no sharing option then they will be uh, they won't be able to see any information on my calendar uh, if i see if i select only free and busy information then the users inside my domain will be only able to see whether i'm free or busy on that particular day the next option is share all information again if i select this option they will be able to see all all the event details and all the information and users can also make individual events private if it, if they select this option uh users will be able to change uh, the default setting that we set now uh super admins have make changes and manage sharing access to all calendars on the domain so uh, that's all for today i'm just going to select this option for my uh, uh for my user for now where they where the internal users only see if they're busy or not no actually not uh for internal users i want all the information to be shared so i'm just going to click share all information i don't want to make any changes to this and i'm just going to click cancel uh, i guess that's all for today i hope this tutorial was helpful uh, and i hope all my previous tutorials were helpful to you just comment on the section below if they are helpful or not if you want me to improve on something if there's something i can uh, add to my videos that you would like to see um, that's all for today Thanks for watching.